All right, so this I picked up the minute I got the email from RC4 Wheel Drive about the release. It is a plow, and I ended up picking up the uh, mounting bracket for the SCX10, maybe later for the trail finder, but for now it's going to be on the SCX10. Crack open the package here. Right, I'll bring it up close for you guys to see that part number. So ZX0007. Alright. Nice and packaged well. And here's the mounting bracket. This one is ZS1002. Alright, so we'll get this foam packing out and get a good look at this. And as always, never disappointed with their products. Very well made. It's got some weight to it. And those shocks are great. So all you got to do is pull up. As soon as you let it go, it automatically pushes back down. Very nice. And again, we're just going to be testing it out on the Bronco. I think what I'm going to end up doing in the long run is throwing this on the uh, 6x6. Given that the 6x6, uh, I got that custom-made bumper I made for it, so it's going to fit around the bracket, whereas this one, once we install it, we lose the option of putting the uh, bumper in. Well, the specific bumper that I have doesn't sit on the outside, so it won't work. <clears throat> it's the, the rock armor one. All right, so get the body off. Throw the pins in. Always lose those. All right, so I only got that bumper mounted with one screw on each side. Get that off. Trim that zip tie that's holding the winch. All right, so good to remove that. Now here we have uh, two small brackets, one on each side of the rail. All right, now for the other side, and again, this is just a quick mock-up. If you're doing this as a, a final install, make sure thread lock everything because this is all metal. Blue thread lock will do just fine. All right, so the front pushes in. Everything is squared off, so once it's locked in, it ain't coming out. Two screws, one each side. Brackets installed. Now onto the plow. Let's, uh, a rough idea what that was going to look like. Here we have two mounting posts. And that again, if this was a final install, thread lock, post is metal. Same thing on the other side. Now that's just going to slide into the bracket, which makes it easy to remove when you're not using the plow. But before we get that installed, get the servo up here. We have to turn the horn inside for it to fit. And note, when you push this, you want the uh, horns of the uh, servo on the outside of the uh, the metal brackets. That way you can tighten everything from the back. You don't have to uh, pull the plow off. All right. So just going to use two screws here to fasten it. Ultimately, you'd use four. And now the tricky part is getting that chain linked up to the servo arm. So I'm just going to do that off camera. As you can see, just a simple screw into the servo arm and then into the chain. Push the bracket into the uh, mounting plate. Two screws from the bottom. I think you could use some uh, eight scale body pins would probably do. But this is going to hold it nice and tight and snug so there won't be any back and forth sway. All right. Crack the uh, balloon on the uh, receiver. <laughs> Plug that in. The aux channel. Power everything on. Find the proper model on my radio. All right. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used the winch on this. I forget what uh, I programmed for, but that's what it is. 
All right, so I found it. So we have the up motion, and as soon as you release it in the neutral position, the shocks push it down. And this is what it looks like with the body on. Doesn't look too bad without the bumper. It does uh, for sure look like it's missing something. Remedy that quick. I'll be throwing it on the 6x6 for sure. But yeah, so the blade moves up, down, no problem. Uh, I'm assuming if I had a longer servo arm or change the placement of it, tighten it up, I should be able to get a little bit more throw. The shocks aren't compressed all the way. But yeah, I'd have to say it's, uh, it's probably moving a good half inch. Fine for my applications. And all I'd have to do is, well, stiffen up the front. You can see that the suspension is uh, compressing. But other than that, I think it's going to work fine. Now all you got to hope for is a little bit of snow. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.